Boone, a 12-year-old boy in Plainfield, has been in the fight for his life for the last three months. His family getting the devastating news that he has cancer. That's right, but here's the good news. The community is rallying to make sure Jack and his family know that they are not fighting alone. So our own Randall Newsom is live right now at the Plainfield Police Department with how local officers are getting involved. Hey, Randall, so you're wearing orange, and that's not a coincidence, right? Yeah, no, Anessa, this is not a coincidence that I have on orange today. This is what this whole thing is about. Jack Moon's favorite color and also the color that represents the cancer that he was diagnosed with. I'm joined by his mom. Amanda, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Thank you. Awesome. Okay, so for you, this thing started off on not such a good note three months ago. Kind of tell me what happened and what was going through your mind. Um, Jack just uh, developed a large lump in his neck, which mm -hmm. we thought was just a swollen lymph node. Mm -hmm. Took him to the doctor. Blood work came back. Within a matter of hours, we learned he had Burkitt's leukemia. Wow. So it was a whirlwind. Wow. Mm -hmm. For you, how's it, how's it been since then as mom kind of having a, to help him get through this time? You know, it's kind of as a mom, I've been on autopilot for the last three months. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like not slowed down. Um, it's been a whirlwind, lots of different emotions. And um, it's not anything anyone ever expects to happen, but we're getting through it. Yeah. So on a lighter note, the community of Plainfield has, has kind of come out in, in large numbers to kind of support you guys. How has that process been for you guys? It's been the amount of love and support from the community has just been quite humbling and we're certainly blessed to live in a community like this. Awesome. Okay, that brings us to what's happening right now, and that is Jack Moonstrong Month here at Plainfield PD. I'm joined by Kyle Pruitt uh, with the Plainfield Police Department. Man, how are you doing? Doing well. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. Okay, so what got you guys connected with Jack and his story? Yeah, I coached at the Little League here in town, and Jack was one of the kids that I had to coach against. Uh, I wasn't fortunate enough to get him on my team. Uh, but through that network, we found out about Jack's diagnosis and began having a conversation about what we could do to help. So uh, real quick, what are you guys doing? There's a, there's a few things you guys are doing uh, this month. What are some of those things? Uh, first, we're selling Jack Moon window cleans mm -hmm. uh, that replicate the shoulder patch on our uniforms. Those are $5 and look really good on vehicles and on <laughs> windows of buildings and things like that. Uh, the family was actually kind enough to bring us some T-shirts mm -hmm. and bracelets and hats that we're also selling to help raise money for it. And we're going to be having a fundraiser at Jack's Donuts. Uh, oddly enough, here in town on the 20th of November, where we'll be selling these things, and they're going to donate some of their proceeds that day, too. How would you describe Jack in a couple words, if you could? Uh, he's, he's your typical strong 12-year-old mm -hmm. um, and, and just a good kid. Awesome, awesome, guys. We're going to have a lot more on the story and a special tribute, a message that he got from a big-time NFL player. We're going to hint at that and tell you way more on that at 430. We'll see you then. Ah, what a good story. Thanks, really Mark. good what they're yeah. doing out there, Randall. Right. Thank you very Thanks, much. Randall.